Okay, here's Android 4.1 Jelly Bean on the GSM Galaxy Nexus. Go to About Phone. Oops. Go to About Phone. As you can see, Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. They have a cool new boot animation, so it's not just a. It's not like the ice cream sandwich ones on Android 4.0. You can actually fling these off the screen. Let's hit back. As you can see this is the JRN84D ROM. Let's go back. Under developer options, you'll notice that you, you can actually turn on and off the developer options. So if you don't, if you're like an average user and you don't want to use these, you can just turn turn it off. So I think that's pretty cool. So go back. You you can add an account. It kind of stands out more than just under personal where it said accounts in sync. The toggles are just all rectangle now. They're not like they don't have a little slash. Let's go back. Um, it comes with Google Wallet. It comes with everything Google. Play magazines, play movies and TV, play music, play store, and play books. Google Talk, Google Voice Search, um, Google Plus, Google Messenger, Google Search, Gmail, Google Earth, Google Currents. So everything Google is on this phone. But that's kind of what you get from a Google phone. Well, a phone straight from Google, anyways. The camera has been updated. So, like, I don't know if you can see this or not, but see when you tap it to focus, it kind of grows bigger. And, like, you can also swipe. So, this is a feature that I really liked off of Windows Phone 7. When you're on the camera, you can just swipe over. That's the picture I took in my other video. But, hey, see and then it's just super smooth so you can like really zoom in and it, and it I mean it goes really fast though when you like scroll from camera to you can ins instantly take take a picture once it focuses and I don't know why it's trying to turn the flash on um, you get 1080p front camera working basic I mean this is what you get from a stock ROM everything is working um, browser and jelly bean I don't really think it's changed at all but I'll just open it up coverage in my house just sucks so bad I probably should have turned on Wi-Fi so I'm not gonna show you guys browser but let's go to gallery real quick let's go to not now and let's just go to like screenshots or something this is my screenshot for AOKP, but you can see like how fast it is just scrolling from picture to picture. Let's go back. Google Plus, email. This has the new Google search too, which is pretty cool. So you can say whether or like how tall is the Empire State Building or something like that. And let me go in here, turn on Wi Fi so I can show you guys that because I think that feature is pretty cool. Let me put in my password real quick. I don't really want someone that lives near me watching this and getting my password, so. And it's connected. You can also see, you can get you get WPS, pin entry, Wi-Fi direct, advanced. You, I mean, there's just like some minor things. Avoid poor connections. You can change the frequency. I mean, it's just like some mild things like the add and the refresh that are changed. Like data usage, it's still there. Let's go back. Actually, I don't think like display or anything has changed really. Yeah, no. Display or anything hasn't really changed at all. You still get the same as ice cream sandwich. Let me show you guys the wallpapers. Because this in, this includes the stock jelly bean wallpapers. There's only two new ones though. Let's remove that. This is one of them. Press and hold. Let's go back. 
This is actually one of my favorite wallpapers out of all of them. I mean, it just looks, I don't know, it's, it's just a really nice wallpaper. Let's go back in the apps real quick. All right, let me show you guys the Google search. Actually, you, you can also do this from from the home screen. Just go back, see the little, just type the mic. Weather. I'm in Middleburg, but that's that's not that far from me. So I don't have GPS turned on. Um, if if you didn't want to see that, you want to see your web results. You just have to scroll down, or if you just don't want that card in general, swipe it away. Let's go back. Let's try another one. How tall is the Empire State Building? Empire State Building is 1,454 feet tall. That's really fast. I think this is much better than Siri. That's probably why it's getting banned. But And then you also get all these web searches. And also, I don't know if you see, you see web images in places. So if you wanted to see some pictures, just go over to pictures. And it pulls up some pictures. Just hit back. Comes with a Google type folder. But besides from everything being really fast, I don't know if you see like the transition effect. But when you open something, See how messaging comes up from the bottom. When you open up contacts. I'm this is opening up everything for the first time, but see how when you open phone it comes up from the corner. It's just the little things that you notice. And also when you open up recent apps, it opens up way faster than ICS. So if you wanted to go back into settings, I mean you can see the transitions. Also, the notification has changed. It says T-Mobile at the bottom. You can you can go directly to settings from here. Just look at how fast like settings load. Like when you click settings, like there is there's no wait time, no lag. I mean, it just opens. That's the Project Butter that Google's using, and you can definitely tell the difference between an ICS ROM and a Jelly bean wrong. I mean, it's just so much faster. You can see there's no lag at all. And I just started this up too. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how to install this too. Let me show you guys the, boot, the lock screen first. So when you grab it, you get camera and Google Now. It's, so like you can do the voice search straight from there if you press and hold on home you can do do google now if you press and hold on search i mean back and slide up see so when you press and hold that was lit and then just slide up you can go to it if you press and hold on recent apps and slide up so i mean it's it's always there all right so let's just power it off let's just use power off if you have goo manager or anything like that you can just install. I mean, like, you can just flash it through that app. Now press and hold volume down and, and power. I mean, volume up and volume down and power. Once you get into the bootloader, go down to recovery mode with volume down and then hit power when it's on recovery. Wait for it to load up the recovery. Um, I this is twerp. This isn't clockwork my touch. I kind of figured I'd give twerp a try. Alright, so go to wipe. You're going to go to wipe data factor reset and you're going to slide that across to wipe. You're going to wipe Dalvik cache. I mean, well, just, just wipe that um, cache. Slide across. And then go to install and find where you downloaded it. You can see it's called Big Z Maguro JNR84D version 2 sign.zip. 
you're just going to click on that and then you're going to slide it over to flash it and then once that's done just reboot to system I already have it installed so I'm not going to reinstall it because that's going to take a little bit but I just wanted to show you guys how to install it um, and after you flash the ROM make sure you flash the, ra the radio that that'll be in the thread that's in the link in the description by the way but just make sure you like after you flash the ROM just flash that too it's it's a clockwork mod flashable zip well it's not just clockwork mod but it's also twerp you can just see how fast that booted up and it, I mean it just booted up and there's still no lag so I mean I really recommend you trying this ROM if you want a stable rock solid fast ROM and no lag at all this is, this is like the ROM that you really want to try so that's Android 4.1 on the GSM Galaxy Nexus